Hello, I'm Ben Freed. I'm Google's Chief Information Officer and a member of the ACMQ Magazine Editorial Board. I'm here today to interview George Neville Neal, who the ACM's readership know better as Code Vicious. KV, what, what is Q? What is ACMQ, Q Magazine? So Q Magazine is ACM's magazine by and for practitioners. Uh, one of the things that ACM has been trying to do is to bridge the gap between academics and practitioners of the art of computer science. And for the last 10 or more years, Q has been the way in which we get information out to practitioners that we think is of interest to them, and also information back into the academic community to see how the things that everyone's working on are being applied in the field. Why, why write for KV? Why write for Q? Why does that mission resonate? Initially, I wound up writing for Q because I was roped into it. Uh, which is how a lot of things happen on the editorial board, as you know, as a member of the editorial board as well. Uh, we were kicking around the idea of having some columns because we needed columns for the magazine. Uh, columns give the magazine sort of a, a continuity across issues. And uh, one of the other members of the editorial board said, what we really need is a mismanners like column um, written by someone with an attitude problem and someone who is bald. So <laughs> that is how I got roped into writing Code Vicious, and then I sat down to write it, and I found that it was a really good way to uh, express myself about a lot of the things that I saw around me, and that people, you know, people actually wrote in and asked questions. And ever since, it's just been my sort of monthly therapy, and it keeps me out of jail. You gave a bit of the origin story, an opinionated, bald, mismanners for computing practitioners. Mm -hmm. I love that. But can you, who is KV? Tell me a little bit more. Tell us a little bit more. So I think what a lot of readers connect with and what works with Code Vicious for me and, and why I can be Code Vicious, um, I'm not always an angry person. Code Vicious gets to always be angry. So mm -hmm. it's nice to have an alter ego where you can sit down you know, in front of the computer and either get a question or look at something or realize you've seen something that day in a piece of code or in a mm -hmm. system or in a meeting where you know, the thing you really wanted to say is the thing you now can say, right? It's a way of, you know, projecting that anger onto the page. And, and I think a lot of uh, people who work in software and who work with computers are frustrated, right? Yeah. You know, they're frustrated by the systems they work with, the people around them, uh, the bureaucracies they, they deal with. And there's a lot of that in, in Code Vicious. So when I sit down to write, I have a list of things that have really pissed me off. <laughs> and uh, that's all of the letters. I actually have all the letters in a single uh, organized file and towards the end of the ones that I haven't written about. But every time, and I didn't do this initially, but every time now that something really annoys me, I just write down what the line should be. Um, and I write from that point of view. Or people, you know, we get plenty of letters in, people write things in and you look at that. Mm -hmm. And we never take a letter verbatim. We take letters in and we, you know, we need to anonymize them. We don't want people right, to be yeah. exposed. Um, but you look, or I look inside of that for the thing that would make me really pissed off, which is pretty easy for me to find. And then I get, <laughs> and then I get to write about that. KV obviously is this, the, the, the id, the, the unfettered id of the software engineer, of the practitioner. Did you consider any other personas? Was there a, a code vussy in there somewhere? So the initial um, bits of writing, so when we talked about it in the Cube editorial board, I said, well, I'll mm -hmm. think about it, because I didn't mm -hmm. have a clear idea. And Code Vicious was not the original name. Um, you know, I tried to actually write as Miss Manners, because I'd already always this, enjoyed reading Miss Manners <clears throat> as a teenager when she was in the newspapers. It was right. sort of, she had this nice, light, sarcastic comic style. Um, and I wanted to try and emulate that, and it just did not work, right? It doesn't work with my style of writing. It doesn't work with my personality. Um, so I tried that, and then I tried a couple of other things. And then I sat down and I wrote something in the basically angriest possible voice yeah. that I could. And then I thought, ah, that's close. I found my voice. <laughs> I found my I voice. I found my voice. And, oh, maybe that voice has a use, because everybody always told me that voice was not, the, was not appropriate. But in this particular event, it was appropriate. And then the name itself, um, I'm just stealing from the punk rockers, Sid Vicious. Right. Right. So it's like Code Vicious, Sid Vicious. Oh, this sounds good. Very nice. Um, and that's, that's where the rest of the origin is. Cool.